evening. Good, good evening, everybody. Um, I'd like to call the uh, Lakeville Fire Station Building Committee to order. Um, it is our Wednesday, May 10th, 2023 meeting. Um, before we jump into the agenda, um, one of our members who was unable to attend our first meeting is here with us this evening. So I'd like to, for us to just kind of go around the room just to introduce ourselves. Um, so Katie has a chance to um, put a face to the name. Um, Larry, if you wouldn't mind. Hi, Larry Fostant from Finance Committee. Nice to meet you. Mike Fellow, member at large. Peter Conroy, member at large. Big Dollar, Building Commissioner. Matt Simon, member at large. Ari Sky, Town Administrator. Yep, and Lorraine hey, Tony. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Michael Bryan, the Fire Chief. Yep, and now uh, Lakeville Select Board. <clears throat> nice to meet you all. I'm glad you were able to make it tonight. Yes, thank you. I apologize for missing the, the last meeting there, but I'm here to stay. You're here now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, jumping right in. Um, so agenda item number one, we're going to review and discuss the bids received for the owner project manager. Um, so Ari's office um, sent out the RFQ um, and we had five, was five responses um, to the request. Um, so I don't know if any of you had an opportunity to take a look at them online. I know that they're pretty cumbersome, but we do have some copies here if you want to um, take a look at them. Um, Ari, anything you'd like to just add about the process? Um, there are five solid applications. I think we have some good, 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 good to work with. Um, it's really the committee's call on how you want to handle this. You could do a subgroup. You could do a have the committee vet them and come with finalists. Interviews are optional. If you want to have my spirit, I probably advise it, but you know, they're not required. And um, you know, I, I just uh, would encourage us to you know, get this going a little bit. Okay. So I had added on the agenda um, for you know to appoint a bid review subcommittee, and I thought that that would be a really good idea instead of having you know the the members at you know at large um, you know do it all together because it could bog down you know the process slightly. But if the you know, the body wants to do that, we can do that as a whole, um, or we can identify uh, maybe four members um, that would like to volunteer as a subcommittee and which you would go through each one of these, um, you know, responses and map it back to a checklist that um, I believe Ari put together for us okay. um, of the criteria um, that went into the RFQ. It was very specific about, um, you know, what their responses and what we wanted included in that RFQ. Um, and we could map that all back um, to what was actually presented. And then we could rank them, you know, one to five. Right. Um, As a parent of matrix, it just, it just mirrors the RFP. So it has all the same, same scoring elements. Okay, so um, you know, what's the flavor of the board? Do you, you know, would you be interested in, in doing this all together as a main body, or would be, you know, just breaking it down to maybe four members to a subcommittee to review it? Does anybody have a? Well, do you think there'll be other subcommittees for different stages in the project? You know, some are working on, you know, construction. Some people are working on interior design or whatever. I mean, that type of thing. Do you do you see foresee other? Subcommittees? I, I think it's possible. I know, um, Nate, you were really involved in the police station, um, you know, building committee. Um, were there other opportunities for us to break down into smaller groups um, to review certain things? Um, it really wasn't. The, the, the only um, group that was like a working group that was a weekly meeting um, was a, a project site meeting. Um, so we picked uh, three people, I believe it was three, it might have been four, um, to meet in the on-site drop trailer through construction uh, to do minor detail um, work and, and oversight on, on the property. But outside of that, we, we did have some um, high-level security that we were dealing with in this building um, that we did meet in the subcommittee with some of um, the, the administration, town administration, on choices that we're making as far as security. But outside of that, really wasn't any mm -hmm. breakdown of like um, interior finishes or, or exterior finishes or landscaping and, and those type of things. Um, we did it all in this. Let me just add a point. When we immediately to follow this, we'll have to be selecting the architect. So that'll be the next thing. You know, have to, you can either do it this way with the subgroup or with the group together. So I think this makes a precedent for how you handle the architect as well. And then after that, those are really the two majors you'll need to do up until the point that we get to town meeting, because um, you know, 
the whole purpose of, town, of, of this process right now is to develop a solid schematic design, site location, project budget. We can present the town meeting for a budget. After that, the project really gets going. Then then you start getting into like little into the, 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 the operational functions, yeah. Great. Right. So, you know, being new to, to this process, it's kind of like, and I look at some of the resumes in the room, um, like one of the, I keep on asking people the same question, what's the, the significance of, of an OPM? How, how important or how, how make or break is an OPM to the project? And, and I don't feel like that's my expertise. And, and I hate to see somebody in the, in the room get excluded. And I, I see the value in having a small group because of all the efficiencies involved. You know, maybe we, we were able to get it to a, to a result a little bit quicker. But I don't, I'm, like, I'm, I'm hoping to learn a lot from people in this room. Um, and so I hate to see somebody that could add some value get to, you know, excluded from the process. I, I think we need to decide what the subgroup's going to do. Is the subgroup yeah. going to narrow down just the finalists and then come back to the group as a whole and have interview and recommend interviews? Or is the was the subgroup going to do the interviews and actually recommend the selection? And you know, we, we have to probably define that before we decide right. whether we're doing this. I guess the way that I, I see it is that, um, you know, whether we do it as a main body or subcommittee, we rank them, you know, based on um, the responses, mm -hmm. you know, that we have against the matrix. Um, and then the top two, I would think that we would want to interview. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, I, I know we talked about a subgroup, and, and you know, I don't, I'm not trying to full switcheroo here, but, but, but think about the size of the committee. The committee is not that big. Right. Yeah. That's what okay. I was thinking. That's and, why and I the asked the, the OPM is the guy who we really trust is kind of our agent. Right. So, so the, the, that one, probably architect too, but probably more than any other single hire, that's one you got to feel like really comfortable about. Yeah. Right, don't you think? Yeah, I agree, so, I agree with you, Ari. Yeah. And, and just to expand on that a little bit more too is um, this process, in order for this process to be successful, uh, we want to make sure that we have resident buy-in. We want to make sure that residents are informed. Um, I think a subcommittee would, would be meeting not in an open session. Um, you know, if we're working in, in this forum, um, everybody has the opportunity to see how we got our OPM, um, you know, on board, and um, we all get to learn a little bit about what each other's, you know, values for this committee are going to be. Um, and, and then, you know, just open and transparent and, and process, I, I would suggest that you Yeah, as a, as a whole oh, body. I like it as a whole yeah. group. That's okay. kind of where I was All right, that's great. Then what we'll do is, um, before we leave here tonight, we're going to schedule our next meeting. Um, and at that meeting, uh, part, you know, to I guess our homework will be um, to go through the matrix um, and map that back to each one of the, um, the submittals. And then we'll come back together as a, as a main group. We'll go through them, and then we'll just we'll just rank them, and then um, you know maybe the you know the top two we can you know bring in for for interview. Um, I'm sure I can just add on that. Um, you know, if Ari's created a matrix, I think that, that you know that's a great starting point. And if we rate them individually one through five, and now we take the lowest numbers, we'll be our candidates. Um, we can hash them out from there. I actually went the other way. Five is the highest, the lowest is the number. So if you have, if everybody ranked them one, they're going to be the best. No, they're going to be the worst. I went the other way. Scales the other way. Yeah, so one low, one's the lowest end of the matrix. Five is the highest end. Only one low, five high. Remember that. Number one. I would lose. Okay. You get the guy from the coffee shop. Is our OPM? Thanks. <laughs> You're gonna get a shed. It's <laughs> free. <laughs> now, I haven't gone through this type of process before, um, not necessarily with the building committee, but having gone through RFQs to kind of rank them, it can be a little cumbersome, you know. And the, and the submittals are, I mean, I looked at them and I was like very impressed with, you know, each one of them and how they um, put them together. But again, you know, getting into the meat of the, the submittals is gonna be a, you know, a little different, but just know that when you're going through them and if you're having any questions, you can feel, you know, feel free to reach out to myself or you know, to Ari um, if you have questions about how to rank them or you know, what your specifically is that you're, that you're looking for. Um, but you'll know when you're, when you're in it. Yeah. You know. um, I think what I would recommend, Madam Chair, is that um, we'll hand these out. This should be a, that, the first step should be kind of a blind step. People shouldn't be consulting with each other on this stuff. 
just picking their own choices. So I think we ought to hand these out, ask people to get, they can get them back to me by a certain date. Yep. I can tabulate events for our next meeting. We have our next meeting. We say, okay, who are our top two? Top three? Or do you feel comfortable doing top two, top three? See, see how it ends up. If, if, if one and two are leaves and bows higher than three, four, five, we'll just interview two. But if three are close, you know. And maybe we do the third one too. Right. Yeah. Something like that. And then we um, just go over there, that, you know, in a couple weeks we get together again. Yeah, I don't think that'll be great. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll work on that when we get down to that. One question yeah. about you, how you mentioned our very next step will be then to do the same process with architect. Do you, does the OPM that we choose, we want them having a, have a The OPM will draft the specs for that. Before right. even put it out for the architect. Yes. Right, right. Okay, so one completely done. You want to hire your OPM, you want, you want to hire your OPM before you hire your architect, because your gotcha. OPM helps you select the architect. Anybody else? I have one question. I sure. went through these slides and I saw that one firm was the OPM of this building. I know it was another firm that you have on a call, on call basis right now. I think part of the analysis is how, how do it work out here on this building? Mm -hmm. And then how's, how's the relationship going with the on call and how are they been responding to the town? I, I agree to an extent, Mike, but I think that probably the first vetting ought to be strictly off of the proposals. Mm -hmm. Then we can have the conversation, you know, in the next meeting saying, yeah, you know, you're talking about Pomeroy and RTA. So RTA's done, well, me and I can easily talk about what RTA's done for us and what kind of work we've done. And I've had some experience with them elsewhere as well. Pomeroy has a lot of experience with it. We can talk about that as well. I think probably the best thing to do would be to just, you know, do a cold objective review yeah. of the submission and then go from there. Yeah. If the submission's a bad submission, then, you know. It is what it is. It is what it is, so, yeah. So it's basically take the emotion out of the equation and just, yeah. you know, deal with the fact. That was really clean and objective. There could be no accusation that there was any kind of you know, agenda there or anything like that. Agreed. Anybody else want to weigh in on that? I read through them. I had a lot of questions, but if we're going to do it that way, I'm not going to ask the questions now. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But like yeah, I read all of these. You things. know, just Every to... time I couldn't sleep, I opened them up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I solved that problem right away. Rough. That was I do rough. think it's fair, Larry. I mean, if you have questions, not necessarily relative to the person specifically, mm -hmm. but as far as what may be advantageous to the group to, to focus on, that's, fair. I, I, yeah. that's a very fair. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, I mean, you know, I just I, when I read through these, you know, I, I had lots of questions about on time, over budget, under yeah. budget, you know, right. off schedule. Though, but I think those might be questions we have to... I think you ask them. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, get to yeah, that you could have, I mean, I think that you'd ask them after right. now, right? Yeah. I mean, just to Well, say, we wouldn't have a lot of a lot of input other than the ones we already know. Like, you know, who's, you know you're not going to be able to tell me how, you know, one of them did. If they've never done a project for us, we're going to have to know mm -hmm. further from them. So I think we might have to wait on that. I'm, the one that might, the first one that jumped out is like the police, you know, police station. I, you know, were they on time? Were they on budget? Over budget? Mm -hmm. Under budget? Um, you know, with the delays, you know, how did that project work? But that's specifically for them. Right. We can't answer for the other ones because they haven't done anything for us. Right. I will one say of this. them did say sorry, sorry, sorry. in their in their proposal, they showed a couple, of, you know, some of their jobs that they were under budget, over budget. Yeah. I thought that was great. Actually, I think I marked them as one of my favorites just because they did that. You just you just read my mind. I was going to say. I think the better proposals got into the stuff that they, they thought we'd want to know. Right. That, that right there. And then there's the all the ones I saw that they didn't have. You know, they they may have been involved in a fire station remodel or mm -hmm. expansion, but they didn't have any real fire department. You know, they did you know community centers and art. They, this is a whole different beast. This is you know this isn't like doing a library. This is you know so you know I focused on the ones that had a lot of experience. And to be honest, a lot of the fire departments I've been in over the years of my career and uh, seen them, and I've spoke with many chiefs. And since I've been on this committee, I've spoken to many chiefs when I'm in fire departments here. What do they think about it? And, right. So I have somewhat of an input, you know, yeah. on that part, but we got to get through that. First. Yeah, no, that's a good point. So when you're, when you're going through the, you know, the matrix based on what our request was, mm -hmm. you know, for the submittals, please make sure you rate your notes on the side. Mm -hmm. um, you know, what, what stood out to you that was important. Right. Uh, Madam Chair, through, like, off of Ari's point about um, the holes in the submittal, are we allowed to communicate back with the, uh, the submitters about, like, to address some information that they may have left out, or are we restricted to what, what they've included? Yeah, I, I'm... The first pass restricted to what they've included. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right, good. 
then we can interview after. Okay, so if, you decide, if, you, if you decide that there are, like, if you've got one, say you've got a one, two, and a three, and three is like, looks a little weaker than two and one, and one of the reasons why is it left some stuff out. Yeah. But, but, the, but it's close. Then you might want to interview that number three as well. Mm -hmm. You probably don't be looking at number five, though. You're probably not even going to bother with them. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, we don't want to drag this out too long. Right. 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 Exactly. You think it's at least. Right. I mean, right. you know, well, producing your quality submission is actually, you know, Indicator. Part of what you want to see. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> Do we have the matrix? Do you have those here? Or? Yeah, I got them all right here. Yep. I'll hand them out. Before you leave, everybody just take a pack. Okay. Yep. Excellent. Anything Madam Chair, there was in the, in the proposals, there were a lot of references to other, you know, entities that were bills that already took contact references to ask them how things went. I think that that would be after the fact, you know, like at least just go through the matrix first. Um, just assess the quality just, of submissions. Right. right. Yeah. Just focusing on the submissions okay. and then we can take it. So we're just yeah. reading resumes now and then come back. Yep. Yeah, I guess that's yeah, that's the best. Like way somebody to applying for a job, right? You know, you don't call the references the first off. Right. You, 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 yeah. Yeah. Well, that's a good way to put it. All right. Anybody else, Christina? I know you had your hand up. I don't know if you wanted to. Uh, actually, it was just covered by the discussion you had with Larry. I was just I haven't seen the matrix, but I was just going to suggest having like a justification section. Um, yep. So that the ranking isn't arbitrary or doesn't sort of, you know, so there, there's there's some qualifiers for why you selected right. Right. Yep. Yeah. It's, 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 yeah. it's in there. It's there. Yeah. Excellent. So we probably should just hold to we actually read these. Yep. Names. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a complicated document. I mean, look, this is it's very simple. It just has okay. the proposer, the evaluator, and the rating, whole box for rating, and then um, and then rationale behind your behind your rating. Okay. And you can put as much result as you want. Hmm? I do. I can send it to everybody electronically too. That's fine. Yeah, happy to. I'm old. I'll take the hard card. <laughs> we're a full function. We're a full service organization here. I'll do everything. I'm already tired of print. This is exhausting. <laughs> All right. So I guess um, we'll move on to the next piece of it. Um, so we uh, we put on here to schedule a tour of the existing fire station. Um, so um, I know some of us have been there. Some of us haven't. Um, so Mike actually is going to just take a few minutes um, just to give us a, a brief presentation um, before we actually, you know, talk about when we're going to go visit the, you know, fire station. So we we'll just take a few minutes to see what Mr. The Chief Mr. has to say, Mr. O'Brien, the Chief O'Brien. Mr. Chief. Mr. Chief. Mr. Chief. Mr. Chief. Um, it's, I thank you guys for for your uh, patience with this. Um, I'm going to bust through as quickly as, as I can. The, the, the thought behind this is that every fire station, the fire station, as Larry pointed out, is a very different kind of building. Um, but every fire station is slightly different because every town is different. And you have to kind of understand Lakeville Fire Department. And me coming from the outside, uh, I came from a different kind of apartment. And so I had a lot to learn about Lakeville and Lakeville Fire Department. So to have that mentality and that approach to everything we do, is, is really important. So as much as you can learn about the department, it'll help us be better at our jobs here. And that's, that's the thought behind this. So just like uh, the, the town, we developed our own mission statement um, and we do fire-based EMS, which is important to know because then we have three ambulances. We do fire protection and prevention, which means we need administrative space, plan review space, things like that. Um, and rescue and everything else, which is a kind of a catch-all. So we need equipment, we need uh, all sorts of things. Uh, this is like a broad overview. Um, one of the things that you're going to jump out at you is the, the number of uh, pieces of apparatus we have. And it's a really diverse community as far as its characteristics. We have water, lots of water. We have um, rural areas, we have lots of forest, and we have lots of industrial space. So we're like three or four different towns rolled into one. Um, we have areas that are covered with hydrants. We have areas that have no hydrants at all. So we have tankers, things like that. So as you go down the list, it's because everything uh, suits uh, has to serve a need in this town, and um, and and that's why you're you know when you we get into apparatus space and things like that, um, that's that's why that's why we need so much space. This is a typical firefighting operation in Lakeville. We uh, we attack the fire. We drop a tank, you see the blue, the blue square right there, that's a portable tank. We fill it up with water and then we begin the process of, of transporting water back and forth from a static water source. So that's a pond up there. This is actually Pierce and that's uh, Malbone. And we have to truck the water back and forth. It's 
labor intensive, it's manpower intensive, and it's apparatus intensive. And that's just, I'm just telling you this to help you understand what our space needs are. Staffing is, is interesting because if you're in a predominantly uh, call or volunteer department, you, you focus more on meeting space, training space. Um, you don't care so much about uh, bunk rooms and things like that and showers. Um, we have a combination department, so we have both. Again, it's a diverse kind of a setup. We have two on-call groups with um, about 10, uh, 10 in each group, 10 or 11 in each group. And then we have four career groups and they have three people in each group. This is my spot. This is Deputy Chief Grant and our admin. Staff outlook. Um, nationwide and locally, we're, we're, we're beating the curve, but our, we're showing signs of our call membership dwindling. Uh, their, their, their characteristics have changed. They tend to be younger now. They tend to do it for a shorter amount of time, more turnover. Uh, we have less people like Captain McCullough over there. And this is our per resident coverage, like a ratio between firefighters and residents. And as you can see, this is all the, every combination fire department in the state of uh, the Commonwealth of Massachusetts and we're among the highest. So we should see or expect to see increased staffing, uh, full-time staffing. Um, so the fire station is very much, we're kind of in this weird situation now. There's a lot of stress on the system due to COVID and mental health issues. And, and one of the things that we've had to deal with is the lack of retention. And, and one of the common themes of the people going out the door um, is the, the quality of the facility that they're working in and contributes to all these problems. So one of the, 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 the problems with the current facility, as you will learn if you haven't already learned, we have um, four, excuse me, five female firefighters in the department, uh, and we don't have, we don't have uh, gender inclusive space, and we have health issues, we have contamination into our living areas, and space, 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 we can't have enough storage. The ALS service accounts for just about 70% of our workload, um, and it generates about a million dollars in revenue for the town each year. And um, there's so many um, EMS specific uh, facilities that are gonna have to be incorporated in any building that we build, uh, just from a compliance standpoint, not from a, 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 a nice to have, these are must have items. Again, uh, once we get into uh, firefighting, we're talking about storage, decon. Uh, we're trying to isolate our living space from contaminants, from fire, all the carcinogens. We're talking about SCBA uh, maintenance areas, exhaust control. These are all things that we're gonna have to consider as we move forward. Um, and if you think that our resources might be, there's padding in this thing, we, we generally, all departments now are very kind of streamlined and efficient. We have a 10 alarm run card that that basically um, every department in the area shares. We, we appear on their run cards, they appear, appear on, on ours. And the intent of this is so we can not have to build a mega fire department to protect our town. We can share services and basically we regionalize without regionalization. And that's basically like a, a real quick down and dirty overview and hope it didn't take too long. The software news, Mike, that's nice. Yeah, very right. nice. What software do you use? Oh, it's Prezi. It's, uh, nice. it's just kind of a, yeah, a different version of PowerPoint. It's fun. Yeah, yeah it's good. It's yeah. nice. Um, would you be able to get a, a copy? Um, hard co well, electronic copy to everybody? I can mail them to that, yep. All right, that would be awesome. Um, but that's like more of the, you know, the theory, the high level, so that when we actually, you know, go into um, you know, the tour, we'll have the, you know, the, the real physical, you know, piece of it to attribute back to what you just presented to us so thank you for the opportunity appreciate it right. um so as far as um, the tour goes i know most of us are only available at 6 30 you know in the evening um, to go through so um you know, would we can go together for those that have would like to go together i think it would be a good field trip for all of us <clears throat> So I don't think we can fit all these people in the fire. <laughs> 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 it's a team building. <laughs> yeah, I um, so is there a better night? Um, At the fire station? Uh, when's our drill night? Is it, next uh, Thursday. Next Thursday. <laughs> so the only night for us to really avoid would be the 25th. Um, 18th. I'm sorry, the 18th. Yeah. All right, I jumped Thursdays. 
and after that, it's the it's it's pretty much wide open. Alright, so so stay away from the 18th. Um, so if we're looking into the week of, well, I'll start with the 22nd. The week of the 22nd um, is. I already check in with me too with the, the meetings because I didn't really add anything into a board the, meeting on the 22nd. Okay. Serpent annual meetings on the 24th. Okay. 23rd, I have recruits graduating from uh, the academy. At, so I went up, I'd, I'd be there for five to about seven. All right. I'm, I'm not sure about the way from the All right. So how's the 25th look? 25th? Matt, yeah. that's good for you too. Thursday the 25th? Good for me. Yeah. What, uh, 6.30? Yeah. That should be fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that should be okay for me. Oh, uh, I, I'm sorry, I'm not available. My husband's out of town that day. Okay. Um, okay. You know, let me let me see if I can get um, child care coverage though. I think I might be all right. all right. I think it wouldn't be any more than an hour. And and I wouldn't I wouldn't be upset about giving a second tour if, if you wanted like an alternate date. All right. So we're going to say Thursday, 5.25. We're doing 6.30 again? Yep. Do, I, do you think we need to post this? Um, I don't think we're going to be deliberating at all. all. Right. It's more, I would consider this more like a field trip. Um, I agree. Trips. Just checking. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to be out of town from the 22nd to the 25th, but I, I know the building pretty well, don't? I should have been there. <laughs> I lived through. I lived through a couple of additions too. All right. Okay. Got it. Okay. Um, the minutes. Um, everybody get a copy of the March 11th minutes and have a chance to review them. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll entertain a motion um, to approve the minutes for March 11th, 2023. So moved. Second. All right. Any um, discussion? Corrections, additions, deletions on the minutes at all? All right. Call for vote. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Unanimous. All right. Schedule the next meeting. Um, so we got the tour on the 25th. So we have homework. We should talk about that in, the, yeah, in this context. What I'd like everyone to be able to do is get me their scores and that's not going to be tabulate them because it's provide them to every to, provide them to the group at the meeting. On the 25th? Whenever we, whenever we meet. No, not on the 25th, but on the tour. I'm just saying at our next meeting. I want to make our next meeting at a time, look if people have time to be able to do all their scoring. All right, because we had originally said um, that, <clears throat> I'm just going back into the minutes, when was a good time for us to meet was the, Second, second and fourth Wednesday. Second and fourth Wednesday. All right, so the 31st. That'll be the 31st, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think I have anything that night. I need, again, I need to update my schedule. The 31st is okay. So let's plan on the 31st. Okay. Here, 6.30. Okay, to that point, could everyone get to me their sc scores just you don't have to send me you don't have to give me your sheets just email me like one is rated one two is rated you know whatever it's rated um by um end of next week the 26th the yeah. friday yeah that's fine okay. and um yeah and, and you can um you can hold on to your copies of this or if you want, a, if you want electronic versions you can hold on that way as well well eventually we'll need them for the purposes of the procurement but you know for now you can hold on to this so you remember what you said all that stuff. So, excuse me. Um, so we're going to keep the hard copy. You want us to do it electronically? You're going to email us copy? I say, if you want to do a hard copy, yeah, that's no problem. Okay. Just you know, do your hard copy, and then you'll send me an email saying, "Hey, Ari." Oh, here's my hard copy. My reading for uh, RTA was one, three, two, four. Yeah, okay. that, that kind of thing. Okay. Yeah. Um, and if, and again, I mean, if you wanted to just. You, Drop off your, you know, your hard copies. Well, that's fine too. You do that. It's whatever's easier for you. Yeah. Whatever's easier for you. And then, and then I'll just, you know, I'll just sheet and I'll tabulate and we'll get the blank out to us this, this week. He's going to hand yeah, it out. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I got hard copies here. 
and if you want, we'll send emails out today, tomorrow. Um, but the, um, uh, yeah. So then what I'll do is I'll just, I'll just tabulate to like an either total points or average or something like that for each one. Tell tells who's first, second, and third. Okay. All right. And then we'll build the agenda for um, for that meeting. Um, does anybody have anything that they'd like to have on the next agenda for discussion? No. Oh, okay. So we'll just, if you do come up with something, just you know, email myself or Ari, and we'll or Christina. Um, she's our, I think considering point. this will probably be a pretty good amount of time. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, is there anything else? All right, then I'll entertain the motion to adjourn.